up on and talk about a mindset that I highly suggest you work on getting out of if you're on any sort of growth journey in any sort of transformation journey, but specifically in terms of health, this is something that is incredibly common. I'm constantly having to work on it with clients and I've just watched this mindset over and over and over chew people up and spit them out and it's this goddamn all in all out mindset this mindset is praised it's common it gets you all excited so i'm going all in baby all in i'm gonna get i'm gonna lose 50 pounds yes let's go i'm telling you i have watched the all in or mindset put people on what i call the hamster wheel of hell over and over and over what I would like to see are the people who who do this all in. They're going freaking bananas. They're going crazy. I'm going to lose all this weight. I want to see their after picture two years after this thing. Do not be fooled. Do not fall into this emotional decision making of you saw somebody. When I see somebody say they, they, they lost 50 pounds in a month, I'm literally just sitting back and waiting for a year from now, when I see that they have gained all their weight back, it will happen. Absolutely. Have you guys ever seen the statistics on The Biggest Loser, that TV show? Thank you guys for your comments. Thank you. Have you seen them? They almost all gained all their weight back and then some. It's all in, all out thinking, and it will take you to this place. It will take you to a trauma response from this thing where you went all in, you went balls to the wall, you made it so goddamn intense, so much pressure that when you can't stand the pressure anymore of being perfect, of doing everything perfectly, you now created a negative response, a negative association with getting healthy or whatever other thing that you went all in on and just went freaking berserk balls to the wall. So instead of this, and what happens? Like I see this with keto all the time. They're like, oh my God, I cannot do that again. I cannot do that. They're traumatized because of their mindset around keto. And it doesn't have to be that way. Or they're traumatized from the last time they tried to lose weight. Or they're traumatized from when they tried to start a business because they did this all in, all out thinking. And think about it. If you're going all in, if you get into this, like it's a very emotionally charged mindset. It's an immature mindset, in my opinion. And you're all in. If you're all in, guess what that means? That means the the other option is all out. Do you want to be all out on anything you're trying to do for yourself in your life? If you go into the all-in mindset, I'm telling you, you're going to get there. So instead of this mindset, instead of this super immature, emotionally charged, all-in, I have to be perfect mindset, I encourage you to think about the changes you're making as I am creating a new lifestyle for myself. Because that mindset will help you create a sus create sustainable change. Perfectionism is, I would say, quite possibly the number one deterrent of any successful transformation journey. If you got to do everything perfectly, you will crumble. You will crumble and fall and you won't want to do that thing anymore because you put so much goddamn pressure on yourself that every single time you try to make a positive change in your in, in life, you don't even want to do it because you know you're going to be so freaking mean to yourself and put so much pressure on yourself that it's just like avoidance kicks in. Does this sound familiar to anybody? I effing know it does because I deal with it every single day, right? So we got to let go of perfectionism. We got to let go of this idea. Uh, most people don't even know what that is. They've got this perfectionism thing going on. It's like, okay, so what is perfect? Mm. <laughs> okay. So instead, what are some sustainable habits, some sustainable changes that I want to make in my life? Okay. And when you don't do it every single day, cause you're not gonna, cause life is not like that when it's not, perfect is okay. What I encourage my clients to do, because we do, we have a lot of stuff. We have a morning routine with meditation and gratitude and a personal development journey they go on. We have our workouts. They're doing nutrition changes, right? There's a lot of stuff. I'm encouraging them to go to bed earlier. There's all sorts of stuff. But what I do, I'm like, you don't have to do any of this. It is all optional. It is all a choice. And all I want you to do is when you inevitably don't do 
<laughs> everything that you intended to do perfectly instantly. All I want you to do is to just one, be okay with the choice you're making in the moment. And two, just notice the difference on how I feel when I do that and how I feel when I do this other choice. Okay. So maybe it's nighttime routine. Everybody and their dog sucks at nighttime routine. Everybody and their dog staying up till 10, 11, 12, beyond. Okay? And so maybe you try out going to bed earlier. Which, by the way, if you're on that grind, I recommend you are going to have to sleep deprive yourself for a couple of days so you can reset your circadian rhythm. And I do recommend that. Right? It's like, I'm committed. Come hell or high water, I'm going to get up at this time tomorrow. Right? Do that for a week. But when inevitably it doesn't happen and you scroll in TikTok till one in the morning or whatever, instead of being hard on yourself of, oh, I suck. Why do I keep doing that? Just notice how you feel the next day. If we will start noticing how we feel as a result of the choices we are making with compassion and kindness and no pressure, it's okay. It's like you can do whatever the freak you want. Let your little inner rebel have that. Okay. But just, I'm noticing when I meditate, I feel, wow. Okay. Yeah. The days I do it, I feel more anchored. I feel more centered or the days I work out. Yeah. I feel more energized. I feel happier. I feel good. You know, maybe you have some sort of chronic thing. Your body's fighting. You're like, every single time I work out, I feel like shit. Okay. I've noticed that my body wants to sleep for like 10 hours every night. Okay. So how do you feel when you just let your body do that? Good. Okay. <laughs> so if you just focus on how you feel, right? And implementing new habits and just, I'm checking it out. I'm exploring. I'm seeing how I feel when I do X. I don't have to be perfect. I don't even have to do that. But if you will notice how you feel as a result of it, you'll con and you, you will start to want, 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 not have to. You will start to want to do the things that bring you more joy, more happiness, help you to feel better. Okay. So all in, all out thinking, I, I'll be real. You know what triggered this? You know what triggered this live? I saw a video of a guy that I was in a mastermind with who did an all in fitness journey with some coach and he lost a bunch of weight and he was like psychotically obsessed and like all the things. And I, I saw a video of him and he's gained all his weight back. It's been a couple of years since I was in that group with him. And I'm like, yep. Cause he went all in and then he went all out. And I've seen it hundreds and hundreds of times as a coach. We notice these kinds of things. So if you see somebody that did some crazy psychotic endeavor and they lost 50 pounds in a month or two months and they want to just DM them and they'll tell you of their products they have, you know, to help you get there too. So you can lose an insurmountable amount of weight in a short amount of time. Don't fall for that shit. Don't do that. Watch, start watching people. See when they go on this psychotically obsessed, all in thinking, see what happens. Just sit back and observe. They go all out unless they go on some sort of crazy healing journey. <laughs> so don't go all in. Don't think like that. Like I really don't encourage it, especially in your health endeavors. Calm down. <laughs> it's becoming one of my new mantras. Calm the freak down, <laughs> calm the freak down and start thinking about what you want your new life to look like. Right. And start noticing how you feel as a result of the choices you are making and you will get so aligned so much more quickly. Be kind to yourself when you're not perfect. Stop doing the dangling carrot thing. Stop it. Stop it. See the beauty that we, that you have now. See the strength that you have now. See the efforts that you've already, where you've already come. Give yourself that. Know who you are. See who you are becoming and see how you are already there. And then when you're making your choices and you make a choice, right? Like maybe this afternoon you're going to eat like a five pound bag of, of uh, what are all the things people eat all the time? Sour Patch Kids. I just want you to notice how you feel after that. Or maybe you stay up till one o'clock in the morning morning doing nothing. It's like, okay, let's see how you feel tomorrow. It's like, okay, noted, no judgment, no shame, no nothing like that. It's just like when I stay up really late, like I feel shitty the next day. Okay. Noted. That's it. That's it. When I don't execute boundaries and I start people pleasing and I start doing all these things just because somebody else wants me to, how do I feel? stressed out, overwhelmed, exhausted, <laughs> resentful, victimized. Okay. So noted when you agree to things that you didn't really want to do, that's how you feel. That's it. Noted. 
when I eat a really healthy meal, how do I feel? Okay. And that, that is it. I'm telling you because that will push you onto the path of changing your habits with more ease and not all this pressure bullshit. Okay. You're in a, when we get into a all in, all out mindset and we go all in and we're like feeling, um, just small, like this have to energy, we, the inner rebel comes out hard and we don't want to do those things anymore. So don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do this super extreme approach because I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing people traumatized, especially with health efforts. I am tired of seeing people traumatized by their all in thinking. They went so freaking hard that they never want to do that again. So that is why I made this video. We got to, we got to quit it. We got to quit it with this all in all out shit. I know probably every single one of you who has tried to lose weight did this. I'm going to be perfect game. And then by probably by Saturday or Sunday, you were done. You're bouncing out of that. And then you feel all hard on yourself, bad about yourself. Why don't I have willpower? I suck. Blah, blah, blah. Don't. It's not that you don't have willpower. It's that your approach in the beginning of being super effing extreme is unrealistic and dumb. It is a dumb approach to trying to make lasting effective change in your life. Stop. Give yourself freedom. Give yourself permission to eat whatever you want. You don't have to work out. You don't have to meditate. You don't have to do any of the shit. You don't have to work on your personal growth. You don't have to do any of it. You don't have to do any of it. And when, if you fully give yourself that, I cannot tell you how many disordered eating patterns I have helped people heal from at miraculous speed. I will just be real miraculous speed of that doesn't exist in them anymore by giving them permission to eat whatever the hell they want. You can have all, you can have 500 donuts. You can have 65 pounds of sour candy. You can have mountains, boatloads of soda, all the things that you can have it. You need to know that deeply. If there's a 1% inside of you, that's like, I know, but I, but I, I know I, should, I am saying I can have donuts, but deep inside, no, don't do it. You're not there yet. You got to effing know it because when you do give yourself that, the inner rebel, the little inner child that doesn't want mean mommy or mean daddy telling them what they can and can't have calms down because they're like, okay, I can have, I really can. And when you know you can really have whatever you want, you start making wise decisions. And it's like, okay, for, for real, of course, yes, I can have donuts. But like, all right, now that, it, now that my inner child knows that, <laughs> just needed to know. Now it's like, okay, well... Do I really want that though? Do I want to, how do I want to feel? I want to feel good. Okay. Maybe I can have a built bar. Maybe I have a protein shake. Actually, that does sound good. Ooh, I'm going to put some greens in there. It's going to be so good for me. I'm going to feel amazing after. So that shit, that is how we get into a more mature energy and make decisions from a place of want to, not this pressured, I can't do anything I want. I healthy sucks and but don't. Yeah, you love donuts. I love donuts too. I have donuts every once in a while. I kind of they've kind of lost their luster though because I I pay attention to how I feel and it's just like I don't really love how I feel after donuts. Maybe a little bit, a few bites, but I just I don't like the brain dead feeling that I personally notice I get. Maybe you don't get that, but I do. So it makes it easy. I'm like I don't even want them. I've had a whole dozen donuts. Sometimes I get my kids donuts. I just I don't want to feel like that. So I'd rather have something else. So that's what I'm talking about today. Okay. So get out of that all in all out thinking, stop, 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 stop. Cause I'm tired of seeing people go all out. And the only reason they're going all out is because of the all in. So start thinking about how you want to feel, give yourself freedom. You can do whatever you want. You can eat whatever you want. You don't have to do anything and just start trying things. And it, with an exploratory energy of like, how do I want to feel? That's it. I meditate every day because I've noticed over and over and over and over and over how I feel when I consistently meditate and I want to feel like that. That's all. I go to bed early because I like how I feel a lot the next day when I'm able to get up, do a morning routine, all that stuff, have energy in my workouts. I like that feeling a lot. So it hella motivates me to go to bed early. There's no TikTok videos or podcasts or TV show in the effing world that I want more than how I feel on the daily as a result of going to bed early. So it's just, it's a want to, it's not a have to. It's, it's that. Okay. That's all. 
No more hamster wheel of hell, okay? Okay, I'm gonna crush my workout now. <laughs> Bye.